Hello dear students, good day again. This is the part 2 of chapter 2 polynomial. For 10th CBSC and this is my answer from the New Tulip International School, Ahmedabad. First we will see the content. Today we are going to take the expansion and factorization because this is the very basic concept of this chapter. You will need to learn and revise this topic anyhow before starting the this chapter in detail. We will see expansion with the following identities a plus b whole square a plus or minus b cube x plus a x plus b and a plus b plus c whole square. Then in next video we will see the factorization. First we will take the identity a plus b whole square. This is the square of any binomial. If a binomial is given and you will need to square it, then what steps you will need to follow? First, you will need to square the first term. Then if there is a positive sign between the two terms in binomial, then middle term will be positive. And then middle term is 2 into A into B. That means 2 into first term into second term. And last, the square of second term. I have taken one example over here, x plus 2 whole square. So first term square, that means x square. Then it will be a positive sign. So 2 into first term into second term, that, that means 2 into x into 2. And then plus second term square, that means 2 square. So answer will be x square plus 4x plus 4. You keep in mind that first and last terms are square terms. So they will be always positive. Our next identity is a minus b whole square. So it will be a square minus 2ab plus b square. This is also a square of binomial with negative sign between them. So this is the example x minus 3 whole square. So x square second term, but look a middle term will be negative because there is a minus sign between two terms in binomial. So it will be minus 2ab. So minus 2 into x into 3 plus 3 square. So if you expand it, it will become x square minus 6x plus 9. Again, the same not first and last term are square terms. So they will be positive always. So here is the exercise 1. Expand the following. Here you can pause the video. You can note down the question. You can solve it. And in next video we will discuss the answers with you. So here are the answers of exercise 1. You will need to do x, uh, x plus 10 whole square. So you will follow the identity and solve it. So these will be the answers. You can see two answers. You can verify with your answers how many are correct, how many are wrong, where is the mistake. It should not be a positive and negative sign mistake. Make sure you follow the sign, you follow the square of terms very correctly. Now we will take the next identity a plus b whole cube. That is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into bracket a plus b. You write down this identity also in your notebook. So it will be very helpful when you will solve the questions. This is the cube of binomial with positive sign. Here is one example. x plus 2 whole cube. So it will be x cube plus 2 cube plus 3 into x into 2 into bracket x plus 2. You will solve it. You know that 2 cube. That means 2 into 2 into 2. That is 8. Plus 3 to the 6x into bracket x plus 2. You will solve that. So it will become x cube plus 8 plus 6x square plus 12x. Then I have, write, uh, I have written in the descending order of power. So it will become x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8. You can use alternative formula for the same identity and the alternative formula is a plus b cube 
is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. You can use either of these two identity. The same a minus b whole cube a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into bracket a minus b with negative sign the example you can see to the example where I have put minus sign and you know that minus term into minus term will become plus, plus term so you will need to know some basic rules of algebra and arithmetic as well you can use alternative formula for the same a minus b whole cube a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube our next identity is a minus b whole square so it will be a square minus 2ab plus b square this is also a square of binomial with negative sign between them so this is the example x minus so here are the answer of the five questions you can check your answers with this and check how many of them are correct and where is the mistake if there is no mistake then you are going very well keep it up now the next identity is the multiplication of two binomial where first term of both is same for example x plus a into x plus b so here first term is x in both of them is correct how to simplify this with um, uh, just a few seconds you can know uh, you can do this by using these identity I've taken one example over here x plus 5 x plus 2 so what you will need to do x square that means the square of first term plus the sum of both the term a and b 5 plus 2 into multiplication of first term that is x and plus multiplication of both the last term a into b so the identity is x plus a into x plus b so you will get x square plus a plus b into x plus a b you keep in mind that if there is a negative sign with a or b let us take x minus a and x plus b then at the time of addition of two terms and at the time of multiplication of two terms you will need to follow that sign for that i have taken another example let us take 2x plus 5 2x minus 3 so the square of first term here our first term is 2x not x so you will need to square of 2x then sum of two last terms that means here uh, 5 is there and minus 3 is there if you sum them up so it will become 5 minus 3 multiplied by first term first term is 2x and then last multiplication of both the last term that means 5 into minus 3 you can see that I have taken minus 3 wherever I have taken 3 I have put minus sign along with it so your simplified answer will be 4x square plus 4x minus 15 so here is the exercise you can expand the following x plus 5 into x plus 3 and so on there are four questions you can pause the video in next two slide we will discuss the answer with them so here are the answers you can check your answers with given answer and check which are the correct one if all are correct then you are going good Now the next identity is the square of trinomial that means a plus b plus c whole square so it will become a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca you can write all these identities two to three times in your book so that you don't forget at, uh, at the time of use 
square of trinomial I have taken one example here I, I have taken negative sign also so that you can come to know what uh, to do when there is a negative term in a trinomial so 3x plus 2y minus z so 3x square then 2y square then minus z square then 2 into 3x into 2y then 2 into 2y into minus z plus 2 into minus z into 3x so if you solve them you know that plus into minus minus hota hai and minus z square square will be positive don't make mistake in placing and solving negative sign now the exercise 4 expand the following there are three questions you will need to solve you can pause the video over here note down these sums in your book and solve them so here are the answers you can check these answers with your answer and find the mistakes if there is no mistake then again you are doing good in next session how to find the zero of quadratic polynomial relation between zeros and coefficient revision of division of polynomial thank you